Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into your You Need to Hear This uh, tarot reading. This will be a general three card spread, having a look to see um, the sort of advice, I guess you could consider it from the universe, things you need to know or things that could potentially be coming up. As if you could leave behind a like or a subscribe Capricorn, that would be very much appreciated. So let's jump into it and have a look and see what potentially is coming in for you. Uh, this can be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, what do you need to hear? What do you need to know? Okay. Something that you might have thought impossible um, is, is, is coming in fairly quickly or someone is coming in fairly quickly. The world really is a world of opportunity or the world or stepping, stepping out. Um, launching something big, becoming exclusive with something or even completion of something. But the world brings a lot of hope and magic and happiness with it. And I say that because it almost looks like this angelic figure is floating on cloud nine. Um, she's got the laurel wreath, which is a wreath of victory that symbolizes triumph. So there's something that's going to be coming into your experience. Could be a person, a possession, a deed, manifesting a wish of some kind during this period. And it's almost like you're going to, uh, your your world as you know it, you, um, even yourself as a person, Capricorn, might just be changing or something is coming to full circle, full completion here uh, with the world card. So it might be someone reaching out. It could be travel plans. Um, there, there's something in the works here for you Capricorn but it's big because it's worldly so it could be a worldly person it might be a long distance relationship it might be um, opportunities to travel or see the world or to change your world whether this is internal or external but there could even be a foreign link or a lover or a person who's coming in around you um, and they're wanting potentially reconciliation here um, but this is also publicity you might be coming exclusive with something. You might be putting something creative out there. Something is responding very well. An audience, a community, the world at large. There's there's some sort of following or inspiration um, that you're going to provide. And I think it is connected with this world card somehow. So that is very exciting. There's a new dawn here. Major darkness and toxicity. Um, anything that has been depressing or has pulled you down, that's coming That's coming up. It's coming away. Sometimes the Ten of Swords can be seen as a betrayal or it can be seen as shedding old layers that have been painful or that have caused conflict or grief. Uh, grief. So if, if that's sort of leaving you, Capricorn, you're really cleansing. There's a really some sort of cleansing or um, re renewal um, happening here for you with the Ten of Swords. What else is coming up here? I mean, it might be an air sign. You do have two air cards, which would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. So there could be communication that's ending, perhaps with an air sign, perhaps with someone that you no longer want them to be a part of your world. Um, there could be someone who's acting even like self-sabotaging behavior, uh, whether this is you or someone you've been dealing with. Could be new and distant exotic lands in the horizon here for some of you, but there is a new start so I think anything that has been complex or that has pained you or it has been a very intricate, complex situation, I feel like that might be unraveling or might be passing you by fairly quickly at a fast rate, which the Knight of Swords can represent. But it could be renewal or it could even be finding something out here. Some of you, it might come to your knowledge. It might come to your awareness. The world is exposure and seeing, having even a different perception um, but there might be someone here who's hurt you or you find out someone hasn't done right by you. Maybe in the company you're working for, maybe in a relationship you used to have, perhaps even in a friendship setting. Uh, but nonetheless, this might come to you and you're really going to triumph over that. So that information that um, because swords represents communication or knowledge, mental awareness, attitude um, and, and things of that nature. That ten of swords could very well be tied into the fact that uh this this knowledge comes to your awareness i think uh during during this transitionary period and you're going to deal with it fairly well capricorn 
you're going to cop it on the chin, you're going to understand it, and you'll be able to move on from it quite quickly, I feel. Um, maybe for some of you, the Knight of Swords is saying that you shouldn't rush to conclusions or you shouldn't rush to make um, a, a, an important decision of some kind. The reason I say that is because the horse here almost cautions the knight, but the knight is so determined, so eager, that he doesn't see or hear anything around him. He's just focused on this. Now, it could be that a lot of you, if there is some sort of heartbreak or trauma or betrayal or stopping um, communication of some kind, if that is quite traumatic or inflicting pain on you, I feel like you'll be able to deal with it quite well or the attitude you're going to have to resolve things, to conclude things, to mediate things is going to be so powerful. You're going to set out to achieve that Capricorn because the attitude, it's, we must look at the, the de determination of the night, the fierceness. Um, he's going into it. He's just going straight into it. It's out of the... Um, it's out of the frying pan and into the fire. And there's just no other way. And I really feel like you're going to uh, tackle a lot of things head on during this period. Or there potentially is someone here who just wants to get straight to the point with you. Maybe they'll be a little bit blunt. blunt. Maybe they'll be a little bit abrupt. Maybe they'll be even quite forward. Nonetheless, I feel like there's something, there's a very determined energy um, that the Knight of Swords can bring. It's also things things that happen fast-paced. So the Knight of Swords does represent a rushed energy. Um, so that might be coming up around for some of you. Things might be rushed. Things might be unfolding fairly quickly. Uh, the speed of things. That could also be coming up with the Knight of Swords energy for some of you. And it may or may not be involving an air sign directly. But it could definitely signify that there could be someone trying to caution you or you trying to caution someone else that just wants to go full speed ahead. Maybe someone wants to rush things with you. But I feel like if you've got the world in your hands, the ball is in your court here, Capricorn. So I feel like these major decisions might be up to you. Things like pacing and, and communication and, and perception. I feel like it's more to do with you or you've got more authority or you have the upper hand somehow in this situation here. Um, but it could be very sudden travel plans, foreign lovers, foreign links. Um, if you're trying to get things out there creatively, this could happen fairly quickly. So it's a very fast moving energy. So if you're entering a relationship into this period, it could be moving quite fast. Um, if you're getting feelings for someone, that could happen quite fast. If you're trying to sign a contract, if you're trying to move abroad, if you're trying to make travel plans, immerse yourself in culture, or put something out there to the world, the way in which that happens could definitely be happening or unraveling at a fairly quick rate. And it's almost like you've got to strap in, um, strap in for the ride here, uh, Capricorn. So that is quite interesting that that has come up here for you. Uh, but like I said, it could be more to do with communication and, and um, mental connections that could happen fairly quickly or this information that comes to you. Because when we have the world, we have so much in our hands. We have information, we have resources, technology and access to things and opportunities. So that's coming up fairly quickly around you. And you're really surpassing all that darkness and you're coming into the light here. So... I really feel like you're being guided on a new path or you're being guided to the decision that you need, you know you need to make. Uh, but uh, regardless here, um, Capricorn, I do hope this reading uh, has been helpful for you. Um, please don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe.